old smartphones. So it's very ignorant to say that the smartphone has peaked, but like the last few years really haven't dazzled me. And oh mate, iPhone 6 Plus, the original Bend phone. Remember that? Thinnest iPhone ever made. Well, we're not talking about this. We're talking about an absolute flop of the smartphone space. So much stinky history to get into, and it starts with Amazon. Starting off as just a bookstore, now they're just prolific. And they have very good experience of getting well thought out tech into people's hands. It's called the stinking Kindle. If you want an ebook reader, you got a Kindle. And hey, it made sense with Amazon since like, you know, they sold books and it was a way to, you know, read said books. Well, in the mid-2010s, mate, if you wanted to make stinky money, you sold phones. And everyone was having a go. Boy, was it busy. And well, Amazon's known for value, you know, for saving a buck. And people thought if Amazon jumped in with a phone, that it would be really good value and just get in the hands of many. Uh, well, no. Let me uh, just put this, uh, let me just put that. There. I want to tell you more of the crushing failures that this thing had to endure, but first, mate, let's have a smell of it. Oh, ho, ho. This is absolutely brand new, and I guess you're going to learn why <laughs> no one bought this. We're in the money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not putting a sim in it, so I don't have to use that. Getting to know your Fire Phone. What, do they mean the, the Galaxy Note 7? <laughs> Isn't that the original Fire Phone? Thank you for choosing Fire Phone. Well, I didn't. There it is, still in its tomb. I mean, we've got to smell the other bits. A tiny dingus Dorcas charger. Oh, sweet fire buds. <laughs> Amazon. Well, if you can't innovate, you just copy. But no, nah, mate, we put magnets in the back of it. That's how we've innovated. And the, the flat pasta looking cable. What else? Oh, cable. And yeah, micro USB. Excellent. My brand new nug. It is that phone that no one bought. Okay, straight out the gates. Do you notice something weird about this? That's right, it has one, two, three, four, five front-facing cameras. Five front-facing cameras! It's only got the one on the back and ooh, that absorbs fingerprints, doesn't it? It's kind of like rubbery plastic filling bumpers regular glass on the back. It looks really boring, doesn't it? So before I fire it up, mate, this thing was apparently in development since 2010. And the whole point of the five front-facing cameras is to use 3D graphics for the screen and face tracking. But a big thing they were selling is where you use the regular camera to just take videos and photos of products and it would, you know, try and sell them to you through Amazon. Let's fire up the nugget. Yeah. Over to you, buddy. Right? This is a terrible start. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're not even 10 years old. Are you kidding me? Well, I'm gonna keep going in case it magically turns back on because the story's still great. So, it doesn't run iOS. We get that right. Um, so, surely it runs Android. Yes. No. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it's got its own heavily skinned version of Android called Fire OS. But what that actually means is that there's no Google Maps. There's no Gmail. <laughs> They're just staples for people, even like on iOS. If you wanted a small weird OS, you'd get Windows Phone. No one got Windows Phone. Even Facebook had a go with their OS, the HTC first. So if you ignore the five camera business and the display and whatnot, what this actually was under the bonnet was like last year's phone. It was like a 2013 phone with an OS missing staples like regular app go, <gasps> go! That's excellent! It's arisen from its coma. I'm gonna keep telling the story. I think it's waking up. So it's boring looking with outdated specs and just sells your Amazon stuff. And yet, it basically costs the same as the iPhone 6 launched at the same time. Well, it keeps getting worse. This was an AT&T exclusive, which everybody loves being locked onto a carrier. And um, to say it sold poorly, is an understatement. So it was available for 199 bucks on a two year plan with AT&T. Well, after six weeks, they slashed that price to 99 cents. <laughs> at the time, if you wanted to buy these unlocked, just have it outright, mate, at the beginning, it was 650 bucks. By November, 2014, it was down to 199. <laughs> And then 179 by April, and by August, they were asking for 130 bucks, and then it was discontinued by August 27th. Just... Fire is right, mate. She burnt up in the atmosphere. They were even giving away Amazon Prime for a year, and like... Still no one cared! Like, a year's worth of Amazon Prime, that lasts longer than the phone! <laughs> 
<laughs> but come on, sales numbers. Well, after the first 20 days, Amazon had shifted 35,000 of them. Uh, well, to put into perspective, Apple had sold 10 million iPhone 6s within the first weekend. <laughs> <laughs> no one cared. No one even knows this is a thing. It was too stinking expensive for what it did. And Amazon is known for making stuff cheap, right? So that's not exactly like a high-end kind of looking brand. Like people assume it with like, you know, cheap paper towels, not a full price flagship phone. And it was during a time when there were just flagship phones everywhere. <laughs> and apparently Jeff Bezos was all in on the five cameras, 3D screen looking business. And apparently team members working on the phone couldn't actually think of a practical reason for the 3D depth of all that sort of thing. It was because Jeff wanted it. Come on, mate. Like, you, you gave us a hint of life. Like, oh, oh, I felt a buzz. I felt a buzz. It only took like 40 minutes, but it's finally turned on. Oh, skip. Go, you chunky idiot. Crank that 720p screen. I am not registering. No way. No thank you. Uh, a tutorial. Ooh. Try moving your phone around to see it in action. Oh, that is pretty neat. Fire phone has three primary screens. Three? A center screen, a left panel, and a right panel. What about Google Maps? The center screen puts your activities and content in focus. You can also move from center screen to the left and right panels with a quick one-handed shortcut. Let's see what happens. Oh! Ooh. I can see how that could be done accidentally. Yeah, it's neat. You can see the app store thing. It's kind of like bobbling and moving about. But, you know, it's kind of smooth. Come on. Oh, I'm not doing it. Oh, you can't do anything unless you register the idiot. And I don't want to do that. Silk browser. That sounds fancy. <laughs> yeah, go on. Bing. Bing it up. Why, Bing? Well, she still gets on the internet. That's pretty neat. I mean, yeah, you can see it's really trying to push as much as it... No, go... I'm trying to play with a screen. It keeps unlocking things. Where's settings? All this fancy business. And where's settings? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, reservations. Give me the fancy table. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Look at them apples. Fountain pen. <laughs> Food fight? That's a terrible movie. Uh, does anything happen when I engage with it, or is it just freeze frame? Virus looks pretty good. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit buggy and slow. <laughs> it looks neat. It's a total party trick, and obviously it's kind of like, you know, you show people and go, Wow, look at this. And they say, cool, what else can you do with it? You go, well, we're doing it. I mean, that's what all the crazy cameras are for, is just to, you know, to track that. Oh, no, there's games again. Don't make me damn it. 35,000 people, huh? And that's it. <laughs> the fact that you've got to register to use any sort of maps is so infuriating. Mate, I've really gone out of me ways, right? To get the whole experience for you. So I sat down and I had to create an Amazon account because I'm so upset with them about the whole Twitch thing. Mate, I've got to go on. Because, mate, suss this. No, go away. I can do it. I can surf it, mate. And uh, nearly nothing works. No, who cares? Oh, uh, this is BS because I've actually gone into the settings and played around with it because I managed to get two stinking games working. Hill climb racing, which is good. Ah, oh, this place's fine, mate. Well, you know what, mate? I take it back. Maybe it's the greatest phone ever made. I mean, this is all I've ever wanted. And uh, the only other game I could get work was um, coloring. <laughs> and mammals. Can I paint a Frank? That's the closest to Frank I'm going to get. Green. Oh, boo. Oh, what a disgrace. Oh, man, I need to spend 12 bucks to have blue. <laughs> and yeah, the whole OS is trying to do like the, the 3D, everything's alive kind of thing. And um, the amount of time I spent getting those two apps to work uh, wasn't worth it. Yeah, uh, it's just kind of like this small, ugly little phone with a really fun home screen gimmick that no one bought. <laughs> Oh look, even the, the text moves. It's all like 3D looking. I'm gonna smell these earbuds real quick. Oh. They're okay. Yeah, there's some bass. There's some top end. I wouldn't be too mad if I wore those. Hmm. Well, what a relic. Can you believe no one bought this? <laughs> 
you believe I found one that was sealed brand new and it almost didn't stink and turn on. That was very, very scary. It's really fun to see these gimmicks, you know, years later when they've kind of worn off. Um, and just, we're so spoilt with today's screens, just with 120 hertz that like, this doesn't fall anywhere near as good as it could. You know, with new screens, this would be even better. But man, like the amount of expense of putting all these cameras in here. Look at this, look, I'm moving around and it's tracking my face. Isn't that scary? That is weird. Well, I mean, at least it's got a headphone jack, so it is technically superior to new iPhones. Only one last thing to do. Can it live? No way! <gasps> Excellent! This thing's almost tolerable. And well, that's it. <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, because my one dollar month IDUX and Dang Pods videos, the Ryrex videos on garbage time, my car thing, and the drum thing, which is my drum thing. And I'm on float planes streaming six times a week. It's annoying how this screen's tracking my face and move around. But mate, one buck extra. So sure, this is like early smartphone days by today's standards. Well, the first touchscreen thing that I ever saw in my household was this. <laughs> <laughs> my mum had one of these in 2008 and I hated it so much. So thanks so much, and mate. I'll see you all next time. Hey, Frank. You should give us a scary yawn. Do, do one scary yawn, please. Wait, wait. Yeah? Yes? Scary? No? Come on, Frankie. You're being adorable. I want a scary yawn. Give us the scary yawn. Stop being adorable and licking the wood. I don't think we're gonna get one. Yay! Scary yawn!